welcome to the tale of the gay gay. There was once a little girl named Makeke. Makeke lived far away in a land distant from America. The country was called Ghana in Africa. One early Saturday morning, Makeke's mother, Ani, called her and her two sisters to her room. Kalanja, Akela, Makeke, come here. The girls came promptly to her room. She said, girls, today I want you to take Makeke down to the ocean because she's never been there before. But there's a couple of things I want you to remember. One, I want you to take some food. I want you to take some grapes, some bananas, some fufu, some cola nuts, and some water. Because you'll die if you don't drink water. Two, don't get in the water because you might get eaten by a shark or a barracuda or something. And three, you better have your black tails back here before it gets dark or else you get the whipping of your life. So the girls did what their mother said and they left out to go down to the ocean. In order to get to the ocean, McKay and her two sisters had to go through the forest. While they went through the forest, McKay sang her favorite song. It went like this. Down by the ocean, I like to put on lotion. Then I open up my third eye. Down by the ocean, I like to put on lotion. Then I open up my third eye. When they got down to the ocean, the KK looked at all that water. She'd never seen anything like that before. She said to herself, Wow, look at all that water. The girls played on the ocean front all day. And during that time, Makeke found a seashell. She put it to her ear. This fascinated Makeke. So she played, she made sand castles. But after a while, it started getting dark and the older sister Kalanja said, Okay, learn Makeke. It's getting dark. We better leave now because you remember what Mama said. That's when the middle sister, Akela, said, That's right. And Makeke, you got me in trouble last week. So let's go now. Makeke didn't like to listen to her older sisters all the time. She said, I'm coming. I'm coming. That's when Kalanja said, Come on, Makeke. I'm serious. We need to leave now. Because if we get home and it's dark, we're going to get in trouble. And Akela said, That's right, Makeke, and we're your older sister, so you do as we says. Now come. Makeke, being belligerent, said, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold your horses. The two older sisters got very angry and they left. They said, Makeke, you're going to get in trouble, so we'll see you when you get home. KK stayed out there on the beach for another five minutes or so. It started getting very, very dark. She decided maybe she ought to leave and catch up to her sisters. So she started walking towards the forest. And just as she took a left, she heard a voice behind her. It said, Hey, you, come here. turned around. She heard the voice deep within her head. It seems like it had a power over her. She 
looked to the right, and on a large boulder sat a strange green creature. The creature had long, sharp, pointy ears to match its long, sharp, pointy teeth. As she looked into the creature's eyes, they rolled and twirled and swirled around and around. He told her to come closer, so she did. The creature said, hey girl, hey, you want to see? I got a magical drum. You want to see what makes it magical? KK said, I want to see your magical drum. The creature said, fine then, come a little closer now. As Mikeke approached, she looked at the drum. The creature opened up the drum. She couldn't see anything inside. She said, I can't see. That's when the creature said, well now, come a little closer then. <laughs> Poor McKake came closer and closer. When she got a little bit closer, she said, I can't see. The creature said, well now, come a little closer then. Yeah, see? He said, That's right, girl, now come here! And he grabbed her, and he threw her in the drum, and he closed the drum down over her. Boop, 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 boop. He said, Now, girl, you'll do what I tell you to do, or else you'll never see your family again. When I hit the drum, you better sing that song you sing, or else I won't feed you, and you'll die, and you'll never see your family again. She said, oh, please let me go. I have to get home or else I'm going to get in trouble. He said, I don't care, girl. Shut your lip. Paul McKay said, okay. Down by the ocean, I like to put on lotion. Then I open up my 